Liberate. Black, Black Land Liberation Initiative. All right, real quick. And we can be rolling out, so I'll be right over there. If folks want to go check out some liberated land right here in Oakland, come meet with me. Real, we're, we're trying to do big things around here uh, and, and, and simultaneously. So, right here, I met this comrade back in the Oscar, Oscar Grand days. There's a very well known Uncle Bobby, been across this country and back speaking against police terrorism, police abuse, and police accountability. This, this is a, a this, excuse me. This, as they say, this is an OG in the game. Thank you, Adam. First, I want us to acknowledge our sister Kat for putting this together and making this happen because this is tremendous here. We gotta remember that. And also to my brother Adam for introducing me. Many of you that should know, if you don't know, I'm affectionately known to the community as Uncle Bobby. I'm the uncle of Oscar Grant. And I must say this to you first before I say anything else. It was you, the community, that stood with us, that went back and forth to court with us, that cried with us, that prayed with us, that prayed for us, but most importantly, utilized your First Amendment right to speak to the very injustice of what you saw happen to my nephew, Oscar Grant. And because of that, because of what you did and stood up for, on the behalf of Oscar, we got for the first time in California state history, an officer arrested, charged, convicted, and sent to jail. So we as a family is indebted to you forever for the rest of my life, and I must always say to you, thank you for being here, for being out here, and for standing for what is right. Martin Luther King said it this way. Cowards ask, is it safe? Expediency ask, is it political? And vanity ask, is it popular? But conscience ask, is it right? See, there comes a time when one must take a stand when either it is safe, popular, or political, but we take that stand because it is right. We understand what time it is today, and the reason why we're standing because we know it is the time that we all must stand for the very essence of our true existence of freedom, justice, and equality for all. So we, that's right, we need to give a shout out to that. So for all of you that are being here, thank you for being here, but I want to remind you, as Frederick Douglass said, this fight may be a moral one, it may be a physical one, or it could be both. But remember, power can seize nothing without a demand, and that means some of us must take that stand where our lives are put on the line. Many of you did that for Oscar Grant. Many of you caught cases. Many of you went to jail. Many of you did what you had to do for your voice to be heard for Oscar. Today, let us stand unified. Let our voice be heard. And let us not be turned around because of a fascist, racist, sick individual that's going to call themselves bringing havoc down on us. United we stand, together we fall, the injury to one is the injury to all. All power to the people. All power to the people. Thank you.